the newspaper, race, a historic event. Well, you know what? It was a historic event a couple weeks ago. There was the solar eclipse. And so that we could see the solar eclipse as best, we needed special glasses. And these were my glasses that day. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? When I put them on here, I can't see a thing. But, oh, you didn't. But when we were at Miss Laura's house, that's us laying in the grass. And we were looking up at the sun. And so we were able to see bits and pieces of the eclipse. Yeah. And see, over there in the far picture, it's very, very little, but there was a little sliver of the, of the sun with the moon over top of it. It was a really cool thing to do. A smiling moon. A smiling moon. It is a smiling moon, although it's not upside down, huh? Yes, Jack. formations? Do you look up there and say, oh, I see an elephant? <laughs> or, oh, that looks like Mr. Dave. <laughs> it's poopy. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes when we want to see something, like the day of the eclipse, when we really wanted to see it, we had a very cloudy day, and we didn't get to see it as well as we would like. Some people traveled far, far away to go see it. They went to Ohio or up to Erie, and I guess, I guess they got to see it much, much better. See that? Yeah. So today in, in church, we're going to be talking about something even more amazing than the eclipse. Although the eclipse, you know, it's not going to happen again for a long, long time. Is that it? 20 years? Not how long? A long, long time. That is a long time. Today we're going to learn about how Jesus went up into the sky. How after his crucifixion and his resurrection, he came to earth and he talked to his disciples and he told them some things. And then all of a sudden, he just went up into the sky. And the disciples are going, do you see that? like it says up there. Can you see it? Can you see him? And you know what happened? A cloud came over and covered him. Just like the eclipse. Just like the eclipse, right. Was he still up there? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Could we see him? No. no. Was the sun and the moon still up there on the day of the eclipse? <laughs> yeah. We just couldn't see it all because of the clouds. So it's you know, as Jesus started to go up into the sky, something really incredible happened. And the disciples watched it, and I'm sure their mouth all dropped up. What did you say when you saw the eclipse? I see it. I see it. I see it. Julie and Nathan were like really loud. It was like, there it is. There it is. And they saw it. And they saw it. Do you think that's what the disciples said? I see him going. I see him going. I think that's what they said, too. They were amazed. But they were also full of hope and full of excitement because Jesus was really alive. He did a lot of the things he said. He did everything he said he was going to do in that time. And so they were excited. Jesus promised, though, when he left them, he made them a big promise. And he makes that promise to you and me as well. Do you know what the promise is? We talked about it on Easter Sunday. What is it? Yeah. He's not finished. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Anyway, he might not be here right now for us to see and touch. We can't see him with our eyes. But someday he's coming back. And he's coming back for you and for me. We can see him in the scriptures. We can see him in the way we treat each other. Because we love because he first loved us. So if we love like Jesus, and if we treat people the way Jesus treated people, then we know that he is alive and well in us. We become
become his missionaries. We are his hands and feet on the face of the earth. Okay? So just as amazing as the eclipse was a couple weeks ago, when we got to wear our silly faces and our, our glasses, the disciples saw Jesus going up into the sky, and but we're all going to get to see him come back to earth. And that's the good news. Okay? Okay, about that? All right. Let's put our hands up high. Hands down low. Hold them in front, just like so. Father, we're so excited about the eclipse and things that we can see in the sky, the sun and the moon and the stars and the clouds. They're wonderful to look at. We have so much fun with that. But we look forward to the time when you come back. When you come back down out of the sky and you come to save us all one more time and take us home to be with you. Help us to be so excited that we're willing to share his love with other people and help us to get excited for the day we come back. We ask this in Jesus' name. And all God's kids said, Amen. Oh, wait a minute. That was poor. I'm going to give you one more chance. Be loud and proud. Okay. And all God's kids